Welcome back. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. You know, how often is it that we actually think about where we come from or who we belong to? That seems like a very strange question, doesn't it? Or a very strange concept to think about. But it's something that we need to spend more time thinking about and delving in. Not just within the whole thought process and the hypothetical notion of the questions or thought processes in this, but ultimately what we need to be thinking about is going back to the Word of God to see exactly whose we are, where we came from, and even more what our purpose is. In the times that we're living in currently, we have so many people, so many things governments around the world that are trying to vie for our attention, trying to say, well, you are this, you are that, you're worth this, you're worthless, you're whatever. But that's not what God says. Every time what we come back to his word, he says, you are mine. I placed a price on you, and that is the price of my life and eternity. The more that we study God's word, the more that we're going to see this. The more that we see this, the more that we're going to want to be changed by it. So what are we doing with allowing the things to control us that have controlled us? What do we need to do to make sure that we're stopping these controlling things and making sure that Jesus is the one that is in ultimate control of our hearts and even more of our lives? Today's Bible verse comes to us from 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4, and it says this, You are from God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. I want you to listen to that last part once again. Because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Now, even before anything ever was, Jesus already gave the victory over the battle with Satan, and it's permanently stamped in our DNA. All we have to do is follow. But even more than that, we need to remember that because of sin, we are dead to everything when it comes to anything spiritually. And we need to make sure that we're asking moment by moment for the help that Jesus offers. We can't go through any of these things alone. We can't expect that we can. But what we can expect is that his promises are true and that from what he says, he will deliver and he will continue to guide us both in this life and through the ceaseless ages to come. So remember, we are from God. He wants to help us. And even more than just that, he gives us the victory when Satan reminds us about what we've done and how we failed. We just point him to Jesus and ask Jesus to continue to be in control of our full heart. And when Satan comes knocking, to make sure to send him packing because he doesn't belong in our lives. Thank you as always for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's word together. God bless.